sea lion has ears. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'll show you when we get to the zoo. Can we have pizza tonight? Well, I'm not going to be here, Daisy. I'm, I'm going back on the road, remember? We've only been here for two days. I'll be back in three weeks this time. Somebody help her! She's having a seizure. Waves one and three, normal at 70 decibels. It's been 37 minutes and everything is normal. House is wrong again. He doesn't have a tumor. House doesn't usually accept we gave up halfway as an answer. If I could get fluid closer to the sources of infection, I could get better cultures. Prove my theory. I'm gonna set up for an ear drainage and thoracentesis. I'll only be wasting my time. She's a student. Somebody's got to go with her. I saved that girl. I did that. I'm really proud of you. This whole thing has made me wonder. Things could be different. I have spent so much time away from you. You love your music. But it's not just that. I think that I have been afraid that I would screw things up, that I couldn't be the man you and Daisy needed me to be. But maybe I'm better than that. Hmm? <clears throat> I am going to quit the band. I think we'd like that. Uh-oh. Hey, how's the ear pain? It's better with the drugs, but still really hurts. We are going to take some fluid samples from your ear and your lung. Can you get up, lean forward, lean on this? Okay. This is lidocaine. It'll numb you up. Okay. <sighs> this is weird. What's the matter? The pain in my ear is gone. Gone? Completely? <laughs> yeah, when you stuck me in the back. <laughs> what does that mean? Can we read a book in the school? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we... Jack! <laughs> Jack, help him! Come on! Come on! <laughs> He 
seized three times last night. We got him stabilized, but barely. If there was nothing wrong with his brain before, there sure is now. Any particular reason we need to be looking at the patient? Yes. Cuddy's mom is in my office. She looks mad. What did you do? Our patient also developed a raging fever overnight. That means Masters was right all along. This is an infection. Should we give you a minute to gloat? We still don't know what kind of infection. Could be bacterial, viral, fungal, until the culture is... the worst gloater ever. Her starting those cultures when she did means we're 24 hours closer to the answer. We're sorry your husband croaked, but at least we were 24 hours closer to the answer. Let's narrow it down, shall we? Four days ago, the guy was face down in the subway. God only knows what's in that sludge. Toxic fumes make him pass out. Rat pee does the rest. It's leptospirosis. It's the fastest moving case in history. Leptospirosis can turn into meningitis. I can't confirm any of this yet. We don't have time to choose wrong. Like it fits. And since it's the only idea on the table, I say it's a winner. Start him on doxycycline. No, wait. I'll do it. You guys have to go back to the office. Tell me when Booby's gone. Yeah, doctor. Sure. You're on new meds. Go back to sleep. Am I gonna die? Well, I hope not. Because then I'd have to go back to my office. Of course, if you do kick it, then you get to be famous for another two, maybe three weeks. To say I'm a hero? Yeah, but you know, in a few days, a panda bear will give birth to triplets and we'll all move on. Oh, I'm sorry. You actually believe that you are a hero. You should get yourself some tights and a cape, run around Gotham pulling babies out of burning buildings. Maybe you'll keep getting lucky. You're still the same guy you were last week. Hey, um, how long are you gonna sit there? Could be hours. Hiding behind a sick guy. That's heroic. Did she have a rash recently? No. What's going on? Feverish. Itchy? No. What's she doing here, anyway? It's the middle of the morning. Shouldn't she be in school? I'm keeping her out for a few days. There's been a little outbreak. Chicken pox. Sorry, but if I let you finish that sentence, that would be much less impressive. Chicken pox is no big deal for kids, but it's a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad deal for grown-ups. You think Jack has chicken pox? But he doesn't have blisters, he's not itchy, and Daisy never got it. I know. Again, that's why it's so impressive that I figured it out. 5% of cases present without blisters. The kid was just a carrier. I'm gonna start you on anti-varicella gamma globulin, which will save your life. But it won't make me a hero. Hey. How you feeling? Like I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I can't wait to take you home. The guy's called. All this press has got us a couple of new gigs. Just a few more days. Just three weeks. Culture confirmed, Jack does have chicken pox. It just took six hours longer. Autopsy works too. FYI, turns out your hero is a loser. He's going back on the road. He still risks his life for that woman. That was impulse, it was easy. Dealing with family is hard. Wait, that's another thing I got right. How many does that make? And how many for you? I'm also kicking your ass at gloating. <laughs> 